The overall goal of this procedure is to characterize the exosomal proteome from HIV-1 infected cells. These methods can help answer the key question in the exosome biology field, such as the effect of external stresses on the composition of the exosome proteome. The main advantage of these techniques is that it can be learned even with a limited background in proteomics and exosome biology. Though this method can provide insight into HIV infection, it can also be applied to other disease studies, such as bacterial infections. The H9 cell line is used in this experiment, although various cell lines can be used as long as they are in an actively proliferating stage and are susceptible to the test condition of choice. Seed 2 times 10 to the 6th H9 cells into each of two cell culture flasks. Grow one population in 10 milliliters of labeled medium containing 10% dialyzed FBS, 100 milligrams per liter C13 labeled L lysine, and 100 mg per liter C13 and N15 labeled L-arginine. Grow the other population in 10 ml of unlabeled medium with 10% dialyzed FBS, L-lysine, and L-arginine. Grow the cells for six doublings, at which point the proteins of the cells in the labeled medium are more than 99% labeled with heavy amino acids. Add fresh media or change media at regular time intervals depending on the type of cells. At the end of labeling, increase the culture volume to 30 milliliters to accommodate the growth of more cells. Infect the labeled cells with the NL43 strain of HIV-1 using a standard HIV-1 infection protocol. Add an appropriate amount of virus to the cells.